Imagine for a moment, if you would, the visionary and the founder of the modern Olympics, Pierre de Coubertin, competing in a diving contest in ancient China. Two boats, a swing, a live band, and a river flowing swiftly below. Observe as the competitors reach the high point, lunge into the air, and flip their bodies with dazzling agility and grace. It's the ultimate test of balance, skill, and courage. Wow, c'est cool! It's incredible, like modern diving, but with a wild twist. Fancy giving it a try? Well, I can't think of a reason why not. As I always say, the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning, but taking part. If you hurt the man, let's give him a big round of applause. Whoa! I didn't expect it to be this windy and wobbly. Oh wait, he's hesitating. Okay, just stay calm. Remember to look graceful. The essential thing in life is not conquering, but fighting well. Is what we call Xing Yun Liu Shui in Chinese. The idiom means like floating clouds and flowing water. In Chinese, it is often used to praise someone's graceful and smooth movements, just like how naturally clouds and water flow. Achieving Xing Yun Liu Shui on a water swing takes countless hours of practice. Competitors train rigorously, learn to face their fears, and push themselves to their limits to reach greatness. Just like modern Olympians, the essence of the Olympic spirit and ancient Chinese sports is strikingly similar. Both celebrate the ability of the human spirit to strive for excellence and perform with grace under pressure. Wait, what's with the massive wooden stick? This is a gate bar from the city gate. Am I lifting this the right way?